Hey, what's going on everyone? Monado Max here, and today we're back with our traditional yearly videos, our prediction videos, for something that's not even announced yet, and that is a Nintendo Direct. Obviously, we're about to be, well, actually by the time this video comes out, we're in the month of February, and typically there is always a Nintendo Direct either in January or February. And with everything that's going around, leaks, rumors, and also uh, with upcoming games that we don't know anything about, I think it's safe to say that we're definitely getting a Direct this year. So we're going to go ahead and pre-game this and go ahead and do our predictions before it even gets announced. So, I have a crew with me. We have almost all of the original crew. We have Atachi. Hey everyone, it is me. I'm back. Then we have Tonology. What's up? How's it going? Good to have. Good to be here, Max. And uh, we were supposed to have Jay Matthew. Unfortunately, he had the last one to cancel. But he'll be there for our September, June, if there's an E3 Nintendo Direct. He'll be back in the next one. Don't worry. But let's get started with these predictions. I'm going to go ahead and throw... Actually, I don't think this is a wild one. I don't know if you guys have kept up with the leaks and rumors. Uh, it's been recently leaked that a new Mario Sports game is coming out. I think this is actually going to open up the Nintendo Direct, just because this seems like the type of game to open up a Nintendo Direct. Uh, it, the rumors are saying it's a Mario baseball game, which I think is very interesting out of all the yes. sports games out there. Uh, I didn't think they would do baseball. I wanted baseball, because that's actually one I would play, because, uh, I mean, I know Ty over here, he loves the Mario Golf game, but that game sucked. Uh, anyways, it's so good. They, they, it, was, it, was in, it was incomplete at launch, but it is a good game. I feel the, like the single player is bad, though. So there's not enough to it. I feel like Mario Baseball, when it gets announced for the Switch, they're gonna say something like "Baseball will come as a free update later in the game" <laughs> because of how incomplete <laughs> these sports titles are. Yeah, they don't um, have a good track record. Interestingly enough, if this leak is true, they say that Bandai Namco is actually the one developing it. So I don't know if that's going to change how the free content comes out for the game, because all the sports games have always had the free updates. Uh, when the I don't game... think so. They, they, they developed uh, the past Mario Baseball games, so this isn't new for them. Do, do you think the, all the content will be at launch, or is it going to be like the previous sports games? I think it'll be like previous ones because Next Level Games developed Strikers and they developed Strikers and Charged when they weren't owned by Nintendo. So, and that even now, I mean, they are owned by them now, but I don't think that would really change it. So, since Strikers was less complete, I think that's going to be the same for the Mario Baseball if that is actually going to come out. I also think uh, this Nintendo Direct is going to be heavily focused on this Mario Baseball game. Uh, similar to when Mario Strikers was announced last year at the February Direct, uh, I believe they spent a good five or six minutes talking about Mario Strikers. Uh, because I believe, if, if the rumors are true, uh, this game's probably going to come out May or June, is what I would think it would be Nintendo's summer game. Because uh, that's typically when these sports games come out, is the June time frame. So uh, I think there's going to be a lot of information on this game. And I think there's going to be a lot of information for a different game that we'll be talking about later. But I'm going to shut up about Mario Baseball. Itachi, you're up. Alright, so for me, I had baseball here listed as well, but I, my backup was a new 2D Mario. And my reasoning for that is because of the movie. The movie's coming out and I think they want something soon. Now I'm leaning towards baseball because if they want to coincide with the movie, I think the time frame would have to be April through June. And I don't think they want to have a new, a brand new 2D Mario game right next to Tears of the Kingdom, which is in May. So I, I think May is out of the question. So it either has to be April or June. And I think a 2D Mario could fit in one of those spaces, but I, I think a baseball would be more uh, more likely. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't count out a 2D Mario. I think it'll be a new, new art style. It won't be Super Mario Bros. 4, it won't be Super Mario World 2, or it won't be called anything like tied to the previous Mario games. It's just gonna be a new subtitle. You don't think it's gonna follow the like the new format? No, I think it's gonna be a brand new, a start of a brand new 2D series. I hope that happens. And if it does happen, I hope online play. I, I think 
Oh, one of the it things about to. New Super yeah. Mario Bros. U Deluxe, that should have had online play. Uh, it should have. That game would have been so fun if they had online play. I don't know why they didn't put online play. Maybe they'll pull a Mario Party, Super Mario Party, and add online play four years after it releases. <laughs> right before the new the new one releases. As a test run? Yeah. Uh, it's weird to me that that game didn't have online play, and especially another game that we're going to be talking about later. I'm very confused why this one doesn't have online play. But yeah, yeah I, I'm, I hope that's true. I would love a new 2D Mario game. I'm a fan of the 2D Mario games. I was a bit disappointed when what we got on the Switch was Wii U Deluxe. Uh, although, yeah, that's such a weird title. New Super Mario Bros. Yeah, Deluxe. yeah, it is weird. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have that sealed in my bag right now because I was going to play it with Sally. It is a good family game. Yeah. Yeah. Ty, you're up. Uh, yeah, so I also had, I didn't say 2D specifically, but I had a new Mario game that wasn't a like mainline uh, 3D Mario, uh, and I also tied it to the movie. I feel like they would be missing out on a lot if they don't have something to sell that could catch the uh, attention of all the people seeing the movie and, and all that. I didn't hear the, the baseball rumors. I'm very excited about that. Uh, the other thing is, I don't know if with baseball, because uh, the season kind of, you know, gets going in March, April and really hitting in May. But then, you know, Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know if when that window of release would be if they're trying to, you know, double up on the baseball season or if they don't care because it's Japanese and, and they're like, we can release it whenever. I don't know when the Japanese baseball season is. Yeah, I'm, I'm just doubling down on the new Mario game. Uh, I think that they'll do something that is off, you know, not mainline. It, it could even be, you know, the Mario Odyssey team that was rumored to be doing a 2D Donkey Kong. Maybe that's actually a 2D Mario game and everyone had it wrong. Uh, and this Odyssey team has been working on some big 2D Mario game to yeah. coincide with the with the release. And all the rumors were just slightly off like they seem to be with Nintendo for the last yeah. five years. I, I can see that because maybe uh, you you remember the Star Fox Grand Prix rumors from yes. like a few years ago. Yes. Uh, that ended up being a Starlink DLC or like update, right? Yeah. It, it, something similar could have happened. Maybe Donkey Kong's playable in the new 2D Mario, mm -hmm. before, and they saw that and they mistook that as a new Donkey Kong game. Or, so. you know what? They could do something absolutely crazy even more crazier so you know how lego makes games uh -huh. and how they've done a lot of games of movie adaptations oh uh. <laughs> and you know they do nintendo yeah. lego set imagine hear me out lego super mario mario the that could be based off yeah. the movie that'd be really cool oh yeah like the lego movie game that came out yes like they they gotta be doing lego sets based off the movie i would think if they're I would not, assume so. if they're not, then that's a missed opportunity. And uh, Lego, you should hire me for ideas because that that's <laughs> like five million copies sold right there. Lego Mario, the video game. We're gonna be talking about uh, what well, we're talking about: New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe not having online. Let's talk about this new Kirby game, The Return to Dreamland <laughs> Deluxe. Uh, probably the most random game for Nintendo to port, uh, especially uh, just because when it was announced, they really tied it to the anniversary of Kirby, even though it's not the anniversary of Kirby anymore. I don't know why this is coming out this year and not last year. Because, I mean, I know we had the uh, the other Kirby game. But, I don't know, this one to me is just completely random and unnecessary because one of the things that this game should have had is online play. And guess what? It doesn't have online play! <laughs> and they're they're charging $60 for this. $60?! Yeah, that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of wild. But this game is very very underrated it is a fantastic game i love it, it, it's, it it's so good it's such like it is the like epitome of kirby 2d uh ev with the four player everyone's a different color kirby everyone can it's just so much better than star allies uh and so i'm all for it i think it's awesome that it'll have uh the full hd and so i'm not as upset about that i wish it did ha it should have online play but the the game is fantastic and it needs to be on something other than just the wii 
Yes. It, it's also adding an epilogue, a brand new epilogue. Oh, I and missed that's, that. Yeah, the rumors. It's rumored. But they're probably going to talk about that in the direct. I don't know. I, I think it's cool it's coming to the Switch because I didn't play Return to Dreamland. I have not played many Kirby games in general, to be honest. Kirby's one of the uh, franchises of Nintendo that I've not played many games of. So I am excited to play it just because of that. It's just, I think it's one of those things that is a majorly missed opportunity, especially when Nintendo promotes their Nintendo Switch online service so much. This is one of those games that I think would go so well with online. I mean, I don't know if it's something with 2D games, since, you know, Super Mario Maker 2 had, like, yeah. horrible online. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if Nintendo just has a problem with 2D games and they just don't want 2D games to have online. But I expect Kirby uh, Return to Dreamland to be heavily i would say heavily because i'm predicting this direct to happen within the next week or two so and in fact i think i think this game comes out at the end of february so they're not going to talk about it too long they're just going to remind you that it's coming out uh i also had that listed but so i'll go along with that there's another game coming out at the end of the month that we've gotten character trailers for but we haven't gotten not anything that's like that has a lot of eyes on it we haven't gotten a second trailer for octopath traveler 2 and I think that's a lock-in. It releases the same day as Kirby Return to Dreamland. So I think those two are both going to get uh, final trailers before their release. Nice. I forgot about Hong Kong Path Traveler 2. They've not done oh, a good yeah. job promoting that one compared to the other yeah. 2D HD games out there. <laughs> Yeah, they, well, because uh, it, it's a really short release window. Triangle Strategy was announced like a full year ahead of time, and they put it in like every single direct, and same with like Octopath Traveler when that was announced, and now Octopath 2 was just announced at the last direct, and they've had character trailers. Square Enix has revealed like character trailers, but they haven't done like a full length second trailer, I don't think. Ty, you're up. Yeah, I have a, a new, an actual Pikmin 4 trailer uh, that will get some more data, some more gameplay, something more than just the uh, the reveal trailer. I think that they, if, especially if it's releasing in 2023, we got to get something. So I think Pikmin 4, maybe had some new features, something, just more information about Pikmin 4, if it's not being delayed. So I have Pikmin 4 written down. However, I have it as a small update. Uh, I have a feeling that Pikmin 4 is going to be released in the September-December time frame. Uh, I think it's possible this this is going to be a stretch, um, but I also feel like the Nintendo Switch this year is not going to get as many games as we're used to getting. Uh, I could see them pushing Pikmin 4 as a holiday game, uh, and that be the big Nintendo holiday game this year, along with... Tears of the Kingdom, because that comes out in May. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of promotion towards Pikmin 4. I think this game is coming out later also, just because when they announced it in September, they didn't really show us much, which tells me it's not going to come out in the first half, in my opinion at least, in 2023. Uh, I think it's going to be fourth quarter. Uh, I'm predicting as it's the big Christmas game that Nintendo is going to promote. I, I also have uh, Pikmin 4 here. I have it quarter three. I think I think it's quarter three. I don't think they're going to do a holiday because Pikmin has never been a big seller for them. So I, I think they know that. But I don't think they're going to show it at all. Like not even a small update because Nintendo has this habit in September directs to show like one big title and then have it absent in their in their february january direct and then have it come back at e3 with a date they did it with luigi's mansion 3 is the last one i can think of that they did it but i'm sure they did it even more recently than that so that's uh that's what i have written down for that fair enough fair enough okay it's back to me we were just talking about 2d hd games or hd 2d whatever it's called i have that they're gonna announce dragon quest 3 uh, I don't believe this has been announced in America yet, but it was announced in Japan uh, with gameplay that they're doing an HD 2D remake of Dragon Quest 3. Uh, it was announced, I think, a year ago, and we've not heard much about it since then. Um, however, I actually did forget about Octopath Traveler 2 coming out, so they might not actually talk about this until Octopath Traveler 2 is out. Uh, but I definitely think this is coming out this year. And I expect it will be talked about very soon. If not this direct, it'll be a few months from now, a few weeks possibly. I, I think this game's gonna be coming out this year. So yeah, Itachi, you're up. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I was thinking about writing that down, but I also didn't think that they'd advertise it until after uh, Octopaths were released. So uh, I'm going to go with Splatoon 3 Season 3 trailer. So uh, we got it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Season 3 trailer, because we got a chill season trailer, which is Season 2. The first one was called Drizzle Season. And season three is coming up March 1st. I think it's the perfect time to show the trailer. We already have the Splatfest announced for the month, so we're not going to get the Splatfest. And I think it's either going to be called one of these three. Uh, it's either going to be called Thrill, Bloom, or Floral. Can I go, Can I yes, add on to Splatoon? Uh, so I, I also had that I think they're going to announce the paid DLC. At least the if there's multiple that they're going to announce a paid DLC. What's the sweet spot for DLC? Like six to nine months after release. I think that we'll get something, e either a tease about it or anything in, in addition to the new season. I uh, also have to give credit to Sally because she threw out Pikmin 4 and reminded me that of that when we were discussing it. Uh, and she was talking about Splatoon. So uh, I think Splatoon is going to have a big showing in the next direct. Okay. All right, back to me. So, I said that I felt this Direct was going to be heavily focused on this Mario Baseball game. And I also said I think it's going to be heavily focused on another game. Uh, this game is coming out in May. And we don't know much about it. Um, I don't know how much they're going to talk about it. Uh, but I think we're going to see a lot. Probably the most we've ever seen when it comes to this game. Uh, in this Direct. Since we're so close to May. It's kind of crazy to think that we're less than 100 days almost to uh, this game. And I guess I just just say what this game I'm talking about <laughs> is instead of just talking about this game. Because I think it's quite obvious what I'm talking about. This oh, it's game... Advanced Wars, Advanced Wars 1 and 2, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Advanced Wars 1 and 2. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm talking about Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, this game has been announced 2019 E3, and it's finally coming out. Uh... I'm surprised it's coming out this year, to be honest. I'm surprised it's not their big holiday game. I don't know if they're going to Uno reverse this and be like, yeah, we're delaying it to the holiday game um, since I pointed it out. I, I just, I'm very surprised it's coming out in May. Uh, but I think we're going to get a lot of information on this. Uh, just a little bit, not, maybe not too much, but more gameplay features, how the game's going to work, that type of stuff. And I think they're actually going to announce uh, some new Amiibos because those Amiibos are going to sell out like crazy because it's Zelda, everything Zelda sells. Uh, and they, I don't know if they'll announce it here, but it's definitely going to happen. I just don't know when. They're going to make a Zelda OLED Switch. Uh, I don't know what colors they're going to go with. Gold, white, I don't know. That's going to probably be announced here. I don't know. How did they do the Splatoon 3 OLED? Was that announced in a That direct? was Twitter, I think. That was Twitter? Yeah, it was like yeah. a Maybe they'll just do that as a Twitter drop then. I definitely think they're going to talk about new Amiibo. Though. And I'm a killer for Amiibo. I have over 100 Amiibos, so I'm definitely going to buy that. Uh, it's also... Mm -hmm. Uh, there's been store listings of restocks of the older Zelda Amiibos, so those are probably going to come out with mm -hmm. Tears of the Kingdom. So I'm very excited because I have none of the Breath of the Wild Amiibos, so I'm very confident about that. But I expect this Direct will be focused on those two games. We're probably going to see new trailer, the director's going to come up and talk, announce new things, all that type of stuff. I think they're going to spend five to six minutes on Tears of the Kingdom in this Direct. Tachi, you were up. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, I think Tears of the Kingdom will get a new trailer, but I don't think it's going to be a focus on it. I think they're going to save all the Amiibo, all the OLED stuff for a Tears of the Kingdom Direct closer to it. I don't know if they'll announce it here. I, I know that they've done that stuff in the past with like Animal Crossing, where they've announced like game-specific Directs in here, but I don't know if they'll do that. I, I, I'm like 99% confident on all of these that... that I'm going to talk about right now, and I'm so sorry, Ty, because this might steal your thunder. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we are going to get a sizzle, not like a sizzle reel, but like the announce is going to be like, uh, these waves of DLC are coming to these games. It's going to show like a montage of four games, or technically three. Uh, but it'll, it'll, it'll show a montage of the Mario Rabbids first wave of DLC, the second wave of DLC for Fire Emblem, the next wave of DLC for Xenoblade because there's one more before that big one 
And I think those three are all gonna be in like one sizzle reel type thing. And then it's gonna end with Mario Kart Wave 4, but that's probably gonna be uh, at the very end, like as its own thing. I have Mario Kart DLC written down, but I'm not that big of a Mario Kart fan, so I don't know any of these tracks other than <laughs> I know that Mario Kart 8 DLC is on the way. So that's all I have written down. Ty, you're up. <laughs> yeah, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, I think we'll get gameplay. Or, you know what? Tachi might be right with the. They might do a little bit and then tease a uh, Tears of the Kingdom Direct uh, or a Zelda Direct type of thing and where they go much more in, in depth. Uh, the, I think it's all but certain that the OLED Tears of the Kingdom edition is going to come out. I would be surprised if they do a, an actual like trailer for that. Um, one thing I saw in Nintendo's most recent um, uh, earnings report is that they shifted up uh, expectations of Switch uh, hardware sales this year over last year, which none of the software, no, nothing that we've seen other than Zelda really would indicate that so i don't know if something is going to happen maybe uh price i don't think they're going to do a price drop but something is going to happen there's a reason why they shifted forecast for unit sales up uh this year over last year and i don't see anything that points to that so we might get some surprise i have metro prime 4 on here i don't know how confident i am with it but uh that's my that's one thing that we may get just an update even if it's not a gameplay trailer if we're like if they say something a, a release date something minor uh, they utter the because word it's been metroid. so long so or metroid or the metroid prime one remake i don't think it's gonna be a trilogy dude i'm i hope it's a trilogy i i'm gonna be sad if it's just prime one that they bring the switch i do have metroid prime port on here written on my list because there's the rumors of it being one, and then there's the rumors of it being the trilogy. So it's gonna be one of those two. Uh, I don't have Prime 4 on my list. I think we are definitely gonna get an update on that at some point this year. I just don't think this is the direct that we'll see yeah. that. I actually think this year for the Nintendo Switch uh, is going to be one of those slower years because one, we got Tears of the Kingdom coming out. That's a big release. Uh, I also feel that uh, we're going to see the Switch slow down a lot when it comes to first-party games. Uh, I think we're going to start to see development slow down to be put towards the next Nintendo console, to be whatever that is. And I, I recently just did a video on this, on how I felt that Metroid Prime 4 was going to be the last Switch game. It was actually going to be a hybrid release towards the next Nintendo console. Uh, it will be on the Switch and then the next Nintendo console because of how long that game's been developed for and how it had to restart development. Uh, I think that's what they're going to do with Prime 4. But I think this is going to be the year that we see a lot of uh, remasters, remakes, HDs, all that type of stuff. Ports, basically. We're going to get a bunch of unexpected things like Return to Dreamland being put on the Switch. Uh, a deluxe version of that. So, I have written down here, um, like, for example, I, I think we're going to see just a lot of unexpected games. I think it's going to be hard to predict this because, I mean, I don't know about you guys, I would have never thought they would have brought Return to Dreamland to Switch. Um, no, I know. I wasn't expecting it. I, I think that we're going to get a lot of that for uh, this year and next year. Th this is more just like a hope, to be honest. It it's not going to happen. Uh, I don't, not this year, I don't think. Xenoblade Chronicles X please <laughs> uh, how can you have a system called the nintendo switch have all the xenoblade games have like every wii u game in existence on the system and then leave out chronicles x like imagine being able to say that you have a system that can play all the xenoblade games so i'm really hopeful that xenoblade chronicles x gets announced uh i mean I know Monolith is such a big team. They have multiple teams out there. I know they had a separate team working on the Definitive Edition while they were working on Chronicles 3. Uh, so I don't I don't know if that Definitive Edition team did anything for Chronicles 3, but maybe we'll see what that team's been doing since the release of Definitive Edition, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Maybe they were working on Xenoblade X because that's obviously been a big requested game. The Xenoblade series has been selling very well on the Switch. 
it, it makes sense to me to put X on the Switch, but I know Monolith has always talked about that that would be a very expensive game to put on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, because of how big that game is, and also the fact that the Switch uses cartridges. That There's a lot of confusion when it comes to uh, the Xenoblade Chronicles X, if it can really work for the Switch or not. But I hope it's one of the last Nintendo Switch games we get. Uh, because we need it on the Switch if you're going to put every Wii U game on the Switch. Atachi, you're up! Yeah, so with Xenoblade X, I didn't have that listed. That would be awesome. That, that would be awesome. But I do have a different port listed. And as much as I would want it to be Kid Icarus, <laughs> yeah, I don't think Kid Icarus is coming yet. That I'll, uh, maybe one day. But I do think a different 3DS, is, 3DS game is going to get a port. And... We got an unexpected 3DS port this exact time frame two years ago, and I think that this same team could remaster or do a port of Tomodachi Life. Dude, I will instantly buy that. I will, dude, please, yes, 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 yes. I, I, I think, I think the Metopia team could be doing Tomodachi Life on the Switch, Damn. and that's what I have. That would be so awesome. Ty, you're up. Uh, yeah, I'm like just about out. I have kind of two long shots. I'll wait. I'll do the big long shot for oh, okay. the end. Right. Uh, but the other thing I have, I still think the Game Boy and or Game Boy Advance uh, come into into the Switch Online. Based on the code uh, hacks, that it seems like that is a thing that could happen yeah. with the missing emulator. I just don't know when the the announcement will be. I think they're timing it right now. That should be coming out soon because we've had the expansion pack for over a year now. So we haven't seen any updates of new stuff coming to the expansion pack. And that's been something Nintendo used to promote a lot that new things were coming to the expansion pack, like free DLCs, that type of stuff. So I think that's a good prediction right there. Um, I think it'd be cool if they try to promote the fact that. Uh, or somehow, if they could do this, I don't know. Um, get Pokemon Fire Red, like the, the Pokemon games, on the Game Boy. Yeah. That, that that would be something that would have people go crazy. Especially Fire Red and 3. Alright, so it's back to me. Uh, we are doing a new segment for this type of video. Uh, videos that we do, because we always talk about some wild predictions. And I think it'd be pretty cool if we had what was called a wild card prediction. Um, so I have something of a wild card that I don't, I feel strongly it's gonna happen on the Switch at some point. I just don't know when. Um, but I believe Camelot is working on a new Golden Sun game in some form. Uh, rather, that's a remaster, remake towards the very first game. Uh, I think something Golden Sun is happening on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I know that's very wild. That's out there. I think we're getting one more Camelot game on the Switch before we get on to the Switch, like the end of the Switch life cycle. And I, I think it's going to be Golden Sun. I don't know why I feel this way, but that that's how I feel. Itachi, you're up. Okay, so I have uh, two wild cards, or I'll, I'll say my biggest one. So Xbox and Nintendo have been buddy buddy, but the last time we got a Xbox Game Studios game was Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Uh, unless I'm wrong, uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was the last one. And I think we are gonna get another one. And I think it could be one of these three games. It could be either Grounded, which is their survival game by Obsidian, uh, Pentiment, which I think is also Obsidian. I, I'm not sure, 100% sure on that. Uh, but that one just came out last year. Or the third one, which just shadow dropped, Hi-Fi Rush. All three of those are their lower key games. They're not like one of their, their like staples or anything. And I think all three of those would have a good audience on the Switch and would make the money. And they've there is a precedent to this. They've again they did Ori, and the Will of the Wisps. They did Blind Forest, and they've had their games on the platform before. So I think they can do one of those three here. Nice. You know what? 
That's a good prediction. I like that. I hope that's pretty what happens. Uh, with especially with the new Xbox game you just talked about, that's got Shadow Drop. I haven't had a chance to play it, but it looks really fun, and it looks like a yeah. very Nintendo-like game. Mm -hmm. So, Ty, you're up. I one thing my that I have a prediction for, and I didn't know where to put it, was that I think that the new whatever the new console is is going to be backwards compatible with the Switch, but I think it's going to be digital only. I think the Switch cartridges will not work in it. I think it's, but your digital purchases will carry over. And I think the Nintendo is going to go hard into the digital with uh, Amiibo and other accessories and add-ons in the physical realm with the new console. And I do, I have a I kind of hope that they get that they announce it before the holiday. I think that they're going to try to build up everything to Tears of the Kingdom and then do another punch right after saying that a new console is coming. If that happens, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Just because I that that's going to make me so mad because I have 300 plus Switch physical games. <laughs> I don't think they're going to... The reason why I don't think that they're going to have the cartridges backwards compatible is because uh, with new hardware, the the game Switch games are barely able to fit on these cartridges right now. They're expanding them, and they're expensive because they're basically SD cards, and they're now at 64 gigabytes, which costs a lot to manufacture. And I think that they want to get away from that, it, especially if they're beefing up hardware. That's going to double. They're going to need you know 128 gig or 256 gig to fit these games especially if with they have you know 4k textures and stuff like that even if it's not a 4k machine uh i mean i just i think that they want they want to be digital and i think that's why they did that uh big deal with uh that uh services uh company to handle their online account stuff i think that i think they're really gearing up to lean in all digital well i have one more wild card actually no, you lied max no, you joking. said you'd want <laughs> i was gonna make a joke that uh all these videos i talk about fallout 4 <laughs> <laughs> this is the first year that i accept that fallout 4 is not happening guys i'm sorry i'm not predicting fallout 4 it's a dead dream fallout 4 is never coming out to the nintendo switch I wish I could go back in time, talk to myself in 2018, so I could stop making predictions videos on <laughs> Fallout 4, but no, it's not happening. It's done. It's gone. It's not happening. Anyways, that is all our predictions. Atachi, tell them where they can find you. Alright, so you guys can find me either on Twitch on, at Itachi Cosplays or on YouTube at Chowtown. Chow as in the species from Sonic, C-H-A-O. Uh, we're doing some content over there and we're we're speeding some stuff up, so th things are coming. Ty, where can they find you? Yeah, I am Tynology, Tynology Gaming, across every platform, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, my, I have a new video coming out soon on the Technology Gaming channel. Also, we have the Pixel Perfect podcast uh, launch coming up in the next uh, three weeks or so. So check out the Pixel Perfect podcast. Uh, we'll have both Max and Itachi on very soon. And yeah, that's it. YouTube. I'm, I'm pumped Twitch. for the Technology comeback on YouTube. Yeah, we're coming back. We're coming back. It's going to be great. All right, guys, we've been talking for way too much. Make sure to check all those guys out in the description below. Make sure to check out my other links in the social, or the social, in the description below. We got my Instagram that I've been focusing a lot of time on, even though I've not posted in 18 days on Instagram. I'm trying my best to post more on Instagram. I secretly hate Instagram, but at the same time, I like it. Uh, there's also my Twitter, Twitch, all that good stuff in the description below, and the Discord server. The Discord server's actually been popping off like crazy recently, so definitely be a part of it. We will see you guys in the next video. Have yourselves a good one. Peace.